Lucid Motors has just revealed the expected range, independently confirmed, of their upcoming electric car, Lucid Air, that's going in production in spring of the next year. And it looks like they may be taking the crown of the longest range electric vehicle away from Tesla. Of course, uh, there are a lot of questions. First, what is it? Secondly, how is it possible for Lucid to achieve such large number? Third, will Tesla be able to catch on by the time the Lucid Air goes in production? And why can I get a day off? Uh, the answers to all of these questions are coming up next. <laughs> Welcome to you for electric your number one source of electric car scoop. Let's get to the big reveal. I will give you a few seconds to put your guess in the comment section of this video. Ready? Let's see it. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I am quite shocked. This is um, this is not the number I expected. I thought it would be in, you know, 400s. We knew it was going to be at least 442 when they had a teaser a couple of days ago, but 517, that's, that's up there. All right, so how is this possible? How did Lucid just kind of sneak in there and come up with this technology? Well, First and probably foremost, let's remember that the CEO of Lucid Motors is Peter Rollinson. He's also the CTO of the company, which is the chief technical officer. Now, before Lucid, let's remember that Peter was the vice president of vehicle engineering and was the chief engineer on the original Tesla Model S. Now, before that, he was also the chief engineer for Lotus. And before that, he was the principal engineer for Jaguar. So technology is kind of his thing. So I figured that the best person to ask about this would be him. So I got on a Zoom call with him earlier today and asked him all of these questions that were in mine. I'm not assuming in your head right now. Now, before I show you my conversation with him, something else happened during our interview. Peter revealed something to me that previously was unheard of and i i thought this news was almost as big as the one we're talking about right now so i've decided to make a separate video about it which i will air on thursday morning so if you haven't subscribed to this channel this would be a perfect time to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything moving forward all right so here's my conversation with peter rollison the ceo of lucid motors from earlier today. All right, Peter, uh, usually uh, this is my day off, but uh, you have dragged me out of my bed today because this seems like a pretty big news. Uh, tell us what, uh, how, how is this possible? I mean, we're talking about huge difference between what Tesla just announced, I think it was 402 EPA, and they've been working on this for a while. And there are tons of other people working on this for a while. How are you able to get so far ahead? Well, we haven't achieved it through putting a humongous battery pack in the car, that's for sure. In fact, we've reduced the size of the battery pack from the one from the 130 kilowatt hours that I previously thought was necessary a few years ago to achieve the range. We've achieved range through efficiency, and that's what I find so exciting. And that efficiency has been achieved through our in-house technology, doing the entire powertrain in-house, the entire electric powertrain, battery pack, motor, inverter, transmission, all the software in-house. And we've thrown some serious science at this. From the laws of physics up, we've imaginatively used those laws of physics to create a series of breakthroughs. All right. Well, <laughs> Let me ask you this. Now that you achieved something that's over 500 miles, and yes. this is, was achieved independently, correct? Absolutely. It was independently validated. So it's not like we're making this claim. We're just relaying 
the results of a very reputable independent test house. Now, with that said, do you think this is going to be the first and last range update for the Lucid Air? Because is there even a point to go higher at some point? I mean, 500 miles plus, really, of range. Is this way more than anybody would ever need, granted that, you know, people essentially going to be charging their cars at home? Well, that's an interesting point. I think it's more than I'd ever need. But what I wanted to do was create a technological showcase that really demonstrates for all and puts to bed this idea of range anxiety. I wanted to replace range anxiety with range confidence. So, you know, the last hurdle for electric cars is this range issue, this lingering issue. Let's dispense with that immediately. But the real value, you know, Alex, is if we can achieve this range through efficiency, which we've done rather than the size of the battery pack, we can use that technology to have a much smaller battery pack for a car with say 350 mile range. That will make the car lighter and more affordable because there's a smaller battery pack and we can pass those cost savings on to the customer. And also looking further ahead, it means that the day of the truly affordable mass market car becomes a bit closer because we need to achieve that through efficiency not through size of battery pack if we can double the efficiency we can halve the size of the battery pack and at a stroke halve the cost of the single most expensive item in an electric car which is that pack all right so the second part of this interview will be aired in a couple of days where peter reveals something else to me which i think you will enjoy almost just as much but uh, let's be honest here. Tesla has uh, their battery day uh, coming up very soon. And I think it would be very unreasonable not to expect something very shocking from that day. I personally think that Tesla will announce something like a thousand mile battery. Let me know in the comment section what your guess would be, but it will definitely be epic. Of course, the big question is, by the time Lucid starts the deliveries in spring of the next year, will Tesla increase their range, I am assuming in the Model S, to beat or equal whatever the EPA rating the Lucid Air will get at that time? And maybe even bigger question is, will anybody care? I mean, once we pass the 500 mile range, I feel like everything else is kind of a moot point. But at the end of the day, I think it's great to see innovation from a brand other than Tesla that's actually innovating and it looks like we'll be bringing this amazing car to production next year. And honestly, if I was General Motors or Toyota or Honda or any other legacy brand that is behind in the electric car technology, I would be looking into buying the Lucid Motors in the near future. All right, stay tuned for more Lucid Motors news in a couple of days. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'm looking forward to all of your comments. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.